Hi all, welcome to another video. And in today's video, we will learn about uh, you know creating TMG in an RMB application. So the process is very simple. Let's say we have this uh, table. Okay, any table you have. What you have to do is you have to go to that table. Okay, do this. Generate a BAP repository objects. O data UI service. Okay, you have to select this option. And I'm sorry. Next. Okay, in the bottom, I'm clicking next. You have to click next. Okay, so you will get <clears throat> you will get this three errors. Okay, why so? So there are some admin fields which are missing. So just a note, whenever we are creating a whenever we're creating a TMG in RAP, there are some uh, admin fields which needs to be mentioned. Okay. Uh, don't worry about these. I will mention them in the description of the video. Okay, so you have to mention them. Activate the table. Okay. Activated. Let's go back again. Okay, next. Now I have to specify the package. So my package is, let's say I use next. Okay, so this is very similar to <clears throat> getting where used object list updated. If anybody has created there, you must have seen the similar scenario there. Okay, finish. Generating artifacts, okay, it is still in progress. Mm -hmm. It's still running. It will take some time. Do you want to open? Open. Okay. So it's created. Now we are opening it. So it's very similar to the to the service we have published. So what we have to do is we have to now publish it. Again, it will take another minute to get it published. Okay, it's publishing the service. Okay, it's done. So again, very similar review. A uh, web application will open. Okay, as usual, I will need to enter the details. Give me a minute to enter the details.
Okay, so let's share it again. So yes, this is my screen, which is loading kind of, you will see here. Okay, so now we can enter the details. Okay, so here the only difference is if you'll compare it to the go to app, here we have the option to create and delete. Okay, so we will create, we go to create button. Let's say, okay, I enter when 005, continue. Okay, we enter the name, vendor 5. Uh, all the admin fields are auto-populated. Mobile number, you enter anything. And email maybe. Okay, and create. Okay, and in the similar manner, you can edit it. Go back. Okay, you do the go operation. Okay, this is the old address which I have edited. This is the new address which I just created. Select and I can even delete it. Okay, so this is how we handle scenario. Basically, this is how we create TMG. Okay, rest of the uh, things are handled implicitly by SAP itself here. Okay, the framework is very intelligent. Just we create TMG and rest of the things are automatically taken care uh, by the TMG creation is very easy. The only catch is we have to mention that admin fits. Okay, I hope you guys learned something new today. Thank you so much. Have a good day.